This movie explains the initial treatment of Tetralogy of Fallow, which is by open heart surgery. Before you watch this, you may wish to view our movie that explains what Tetralogy of Fallow is. The aims of the operation are to allow blood to be pumped to the lungs more easily and to close the hole in the heart, the ventricular septal defect. Exactly what is required to reduce the obstruction to blood being pumped to the lungs depends on where the obstruction is in an individual patient. Any excess heart muscle under the pulmonary valve is removed. It may be possible to improve the function of the pulmonary valve so that it opens more effectively. The pulmonary valve and pulmonary artery may need to be enlarged and this is achieved by sewing in a patch of material over the valve and into the pulmonary artery. If the right or left pulmonary arteries are too small, these can also be enlarged by sewing in a patch. The ventricular septal defect is closed by sewing in a patch of material. Once the heart is repaired, blood that has low levels of oxygen no longer passes from the right side of the heart to the left side of the heart, and this means the patient's oxygen levels become normal. It also becomes much easier for the heart to pump blood to the lungs and so the thickening of the right ventricle improves. Here you can see the difference between tetralogy of fallow before repair on the left and after repair on the right. A common consequence of surgery to repair tetralogy of fallow is that the pulmonary valve leaks. The function of the pulmonary valve is to prevent blood from returning to the right ventricle once it has been pumped into the pulmonary arteries. When the valve leaks, some of the blood being pumped from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery returns to the right ventricle and this is called pulmonary incompetence or pulmonary regurgitation. We explain more about pulmonary incompetence in another movie.